Hi, I'm Bob LaRosa. Welcome to Fix My Hog. Recently, I was in search of a good set of brake pads to do a service on a friend's motorcycle. Went on DennisKirk.com, typed in year model, the application specific for the motorcycle I was working on, did a bunch of research, come up with a great product, EBC. EBC brake pads are the world's number one aftermarket producer of brake pads. They offer a wide range of brake pads that fit just about every vehicle on the planet that rolls. They supply brake pads for motorcycles, bicycles, ATVs, military equipment, including the Humvee and some tanks. They also supply brake pads or pads for windmill. They also supply pads for the rail industry. This company has a broad range of materials. Again, always check the particular application that you expect the brake pad to work within. EBC brake pads are tested for heat cycling, which is the amount that the pad can take heat, cool off quickly, and still perform in a non-fade situation. They are also tested for thermal expansion and quality of the material. When you're into a centered pad, which is one of EBC's style of pads, they offer organics, ceramics, carbon graphite, and what's known as a copper centered pad. Centereds, the double H line in particular, work great with most OEM style motorcycle rotors. EBC also offers a broad range of rotors, whether it be cast iron, right through to high quality stainless steel. They have over 5,000 product part numbers, which again covers such a broad range. Do your research, but there's one thing you're guaranteed. EBC has done their research prior to you applying the brake lever and expecting the pad to perform in its particular application. Now when it comes to centered pads, the double H, if the motorcycle was built with a centered style pad, it's perfectly fine to use a centered pad. If it was built with organics, you should not upgrade to a centered pad. Again, if you do a rotor and a pad combo, it's perfectly fine, they're a matched set. All pads, all brake pads, I should say, have what's known as a break-in or a bed-in period. I don't care if you have a worn rotor that the pad has to seat to or bed into, or if you're putting a brand new rotor. Some people will say there's a 250 mile minimum, and I'm not talking about highway speeds, I'm talking about urban driving, start and stop. I myself haven't found 250 miles to be necessary, but you do have to allow a good amount of time, starting, stopping time in low speed traffic conditions. And again, if you put them on your bike, be aware of that. If you happen to install a set for a friend, make them also aware that there is a break-in or bed-in time. Now, the break-in time doesn't mean the pad's not going to stop, but you can certainly expect a different feel in the way the motorcycle stops once the pads have bed in or worn in to the rotor that they're squeezing down on to create friction, create heat, and make your motorcycle stop.